The Indonesian National Police Indonesian, Kepolisian Negara Republik Indonesia, literally, Republic of Indonesia State Police, abbreviated as Polri is the national police force of Indonesia. It was formerly a part of the country's military. The police were formally separated from the military on 1 April 1999 in a process which was formally completed on 1 July 2000. The organization is now independent and is under the direct auspices of the President of Indonesia, while the armed forces is under the Ministry of Defense. The Indonesian National Police is responsible for law enforcement and policing duties all over Indonesia. The organization is widely known for its corruption, violence, and incompetence. The Indonesian National Police also takes part in international United Nations missions. The Indonesian police force has been providing security and protection to internally displaced persons IDP for nearly one and a half years while Indonesia's formed police units FPUs have been a very capable and integral part of UNAMID's mandated task of protecting people of Darfur. The strength of the Indonesian National Police Polri stood at approximately 387,470 in 2011 and the number is increasing every year. It also includes up to 12,000 water police polar personnel and an estimated 40,000 people security camera trainees who serve as a police auxiliary and report for three weeks of basic training each year. The headquarters, known as Markas Besar, Mabes in Indonesian, is located in Kabayoran Baru, South Jakarta near the National Police Museum. History When large parts of Indonesia was under Dutch colonial occupation until the 1940s, police duties were performed by either military establishments or colonial police known as the Veldpoliti or the Field Police. Japanese occupation during WW2 brought changes when the Japanese formed various armed organizations to support their war. This had led to the distribution of weapons to military trained youths, which were largely confiscated from the Dutch armory. After the Japanese occupation, the National Police became an armed organization. The Indonesian Police was established on 19 August 1945 under the title of the National Police Agency and its units fought in the Indonesian National Revolution against the invading Dutch forces. The police also participated in suppressing the 1948 Communist Revolt in Madian. In 1962, the police was brought under the control of the commander of the National Armed Forces and the Ministry of Defense, becoming the Indonesian Police Forces Following the proclamation of independence, the police played a vital role when they actively supported the People's Movement to dismantle the Japanese army, and to strengthen the defense of the newly created Republic of Indonesia. The police were not combatants who were required to surrender their weapons to the Allied forces. During the Revolution of Independence, the police gradually formed into what is now known as Kepolisian Negara Republik Indonesia or the Indonesian National Police. In April 1999, the police force officially regained its independence and now is separate from the armed forces proper. The 1st of June Police Day Hari Bayangkara, honors the anniversary of the 1946 cabinet resolution placing the INP as a national agency subordinated directly to the government of the republic and thus responsible to the president formerly the prime minister. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Duties and Tasks. The key tasks of the Indonesian National Police are to Maintain security and public order. Enforce the law, and Provide protection, and service to the community. In carrying out these basic tasks, police are to Perform control, guard, escort and patrol of the community and government activities as needed. Supplying all activities to ensure the safety and smoothness of traffic on the road. To develop community awareness. As well as in the development of national law. Implement order and ensure public safety. Implement coordination, supervision, and technical guidance to the investigators, civil servants, authorities, and the forms of private security. Implement the investigation against all criminal acts in accordance with the criminal procedure law and other legislation. Implement identification such as police medical operations, psychology, and police forensic laboratory for the interests of the police task. 
protect soul safety, property, society, and the environment from disturbances and or disaster, including providing aid and relief to uphold human rights. Serving interests of citizens for a while before it is handled by the agency and or authorities. Give services to the public in accordance with the interests of the police task environment. To implement other duties in accordance with the legislation, which in practice regulated by government regulation. Receive reports and or complaints. Crowd and public control. Help resolve community disputes that may interfere with the public order. Supervising the flow that can lead to the dismemberment or threaten the unity of the nation. Publicizing police regulations within the scope of police administrative authority. Implementing special examination as part of the police identification. Respond first and rapid action to a scene. Take the identity, fingerprints and photograph of a person for identification purposes. Looking for information and evidence. Organizing National Crime Information Center. Issuing license and, or certificate that is required to service the community. Give security assistance in the trial and execution of court decisions, the activities of other agencies, as well as community activities, and to receive, secure, and keep founded lost items for a while until further identification. Topic. Organization The organization of the National Police of Indonesia is arranged in stages from the central level to the regional level. The headquarters of the Indonesian National Police is called Marcus Besar, Mabes Polri. The Territorial Police Organization consists of Polda, Regional Police of the Republic of Indonesia, covering a provincial level formerly Police Commissariats Kepolisan Commissariat, Police Regional Directorates Commando Daira Kepolisan and Police Territorial Directorates Polisi Walaya. Polres, Departmental Resort Police of the Republic of Indonesia Polres, covering a Regency, City level formerly Police Area Directorates Korum Polisi. Polrestabes, Capital, Metropolitan City Police Polresta, City Police Poles Kabupaten, Regency Police Polsek, Sectoral Police of the Republic of Indonesia for the Subdistrict level Polsubsek, Police for a smaller region in the Subdistrict below Polsek Topic Headquarters Topic Leadership Element The head of the National Police Headquarters is the Chief of the Indonesian National Police, Kepala Polisi Republik Indonesia, Kapolri. The Chief of Police is appointed by and is responsible to the President of Indonesia. Topic. Auxiliary elements of leadership Office of the Inspectorate General of the National Police Itwasam, tasked to assist the Chief of Police in the implementation of supervision and general inspection and treasury within the National Police including non-structural organizational units under the control of Chief of National Police. Assistant Chief of Police for Operations as ops, tasked to assist the Chief of Police in the implementation of operational management functions within the police environment including external coordination and cooperation as well as community empowerment and other POLRI auxiliary elements. Assistant Chief of Police for Planning and Development as RENA, tasked to assist the Chief of Police in the implementation of general planning and development functions, including the development of organizational and management systems and research and development within the Indonesian National Police. Assistant Chief of Police for Human Resources as HR, tasked to assist the Chief of Police in the implementation of human resources management functions including efforts to maintain and improve the welfare of personnel within the Indonesian National Police. Assistant Chief of Police Facilities and Infrastructure ASARPRAS, tasked to assist the Chief of Police in the implementation of the function of facilities and infrastructure within the police. Division of Profession and Internal Security DIV Propam, is the special staffing element in the field of professional accountability and internal security. 
This division acts as the internal affairs of the police organization in charge of enforcement of discipline and law and order of police personnel. Police Legal Division DIV -CUM. Police Public Affairs and Press Directorate DIV -HUMAS. Police International Relations and Transnational Crimes Division DIV -HUBINTER, is an assistant element of international relations leadership that is under the Chief of Police. This section oversees the National Crime Bureau Interpol, NCB Interpol, to deal with international crimes. Police Information Technology Division ITPOL DIV, is a supporting element in the field of informatics which includes information technology and electronic communications. Advisory Staff to the Chief of Police SPRIPM. Office of the Secretariat General Kassidum. Headquarters Services Kayanma. Expert staff of the Chief of Police STAF Ali Kapolri, tasked to provide a review of a particular problem to the National Police Chief according to their area of expertise. Topic: <laughs> Central Executive Agencies. Bureau of Intelligence and Security Baintelcam, is responsible for fostering and performing intelligence functions in the field of security for the purpose of performing the operational and management duties of the police as well as to support the implementation of government duties in order to realize domestic security. The Criminal Investigation Agency is responsible for fostering and conducting criminal investigation and investigation functions, including the function of forensic laboratory identification, in the context of law enforcement. The Security Maintenance Agency is responsible for fostering and conducting security guidance functions that include the maintenance and efforts to improve the security and public order conditions in order to achieve domestic security. The Mobile Brigade Corps is in charge of performing security counseling functions particularly with regard to the handling of high-intensity security disturbances, in the framework of enforcement of internal security. Traffic Corps is responsible for fostering and organizing traffic functions that include community education, law enforcement, traffic assessment, registration and identification of drivers and motor vehicles, and conducting road patrols. The Police Operations Bureau, tasked with dispatching units of Brimob, Sabara, Traffic Police, Jihadic, Explosive Management Troops, if necessary and an intelligence team if there are demonstrations, court hearings, high-level meetings, holiday celebrations by community groups, or inauguration rites as can be ordered by the head of government, the head of state, the chairman of the MPR, or the chairman of the DPR by sending a letter of assignment to the local Police Operations Bureau, the local Police Operations Bureau and the local police. The Special Detachment 88 Anti-Terror Unit Densis 88 at, is responsible for carrying out intelligence, prevention, investigation, enforcement and operational support functions in the investigation and investigation of terrorism crimes. <laughs> <laughs> Supporting elements Police Educational Institutes and Training Command is in charge of planning, developing, and organizing the function of education and training in formation and development of and to the scope of the Indonesian National Police for ensuring education of recruits or personnel which are specializing in particular policing units which includes the maintaining of professionalism, managerial, academic, and vocational education. The Police Education Institutes Command oversees National Police Staff College is the education implementing element and special staff related to the development of police management. It consists of the National Police Advanced Offices School formerly Salapa, National Police Junior Staff School formerly Sespam, and the National Police Command and Staff Academy formerly Sespati. Police Academy is the element of officer rank formation of police recruits. Police Science and Technology College is a special education and staffing element concerned with higher education and the development of police science and technology. Police Officers Candidate School is the element of education for the formation of police officers to become officer rank originating from enlisted or constable ranks of policemen and policewomen. Police Baccalaureate Inspector School SIPSS, is the element of education for the establishment of police officer candidates for graduates of bachelor's degree. Police Educational Centers consists of 
Special Education and Training of Crime and Violence Intelligence Education and Training Center Criminal Investigation Education and Training Center Traffic Enforcement Education and Training Center Public Security Education and Training Center Mobile Brigade Education and Training School Water Police Education and Training Center Police Administration Education and Training Center Police Language College Women's Police School Community Developing Education and Training Institute Police Logistics, Equipment and Armaments Command Medicial and Health Department including the National Police Hospital Finance Office Police Research and Development Department Historical and Cultural Affairs Department Topic: Regional Police. The Regional Police of the Republic of Indonesia (Polda) is the main implementing unit of territoriality under the Chief of Police. Polda is responsible for carrying out national police duties at province level. A Polda is headed by a Regional Chief of Police (Kapolda), which is responsible to the Chief of National Police Kapolri and holds the rank of either Inspector General or Brigadier General. Kapolda is assisted by Deputy Chief of Police Wakapolda. The Regional Police Polda is responsible for the Departmental Police of the Republic of Indonesia Polres, which covers a city or district, municipal level in that province. For big cities, Departmental Police Polres forces are called Metropolitan Police Polrestaves, and for the urban type it is named only City Police Polresta. The Polres has a complete police task force, like a Polda, and is led by a police chief commissioner for city police or police superintendent for regency police. Sectoral police are led by a police superintendent or police commissioner for urban divisions, while in other Poldas, Polsecs are led by officers of police chief inspector rank for rural areas. In some areas which are remote like Papua, a Polsec may be led by a police inspector second class Each regional police headquarters which covers a province oversees the following directorates Criminal Investigation Directorate Sub-Directorate of Criminal Affairs Sub-Directorate for Crimes of Violence Sub-Directorate for Teens, Children and Women Affairs Anafi Unit Indonesia Automatic Fingerprint Identification System, Identification of TKP Crime Scene Directorate of Special Crimes Investigation Sub-Directorate of Corruption Sub-Directorate of Land and Building Property Sub-Directorate of Cyber Crimes Directorate of Drug Investigation Narcotics Subdivision Psychotropic Subdivision Directorate of Intelligence and Security Directorate of Traffic Security Subdirectorate of Education and Conjecture Subdirectorate of Registration and Identification Subdirectorate of Traffic Law Enforcement Subdirectorate of Road Security and Safety Subdirectorate of Road Escort and Patrol Subdirectorate of Highway Patrol Animal Unit, Unit Satwa, Mounted Police and K-9 Dogs Directorate of Community Guidance and Development BIMAS, formerly Bina Mitra Patrol Units Sabara, Directorate, Alert Unit Directorate of Vital Objects Protection Pamobvit. Directorate of Water Police Polair. Directorate of Prisoners and Evidence Gathering Tati. Operations Bureau Human Resources Bureau Bureau of Infrastructure Facilities Sarpras, formerly Logistic Finance Office Bureau of Internal Profession and Security Propum, Internal Affairs Unit Law Bureau Public Relations and Press Service Regional Police Medical Bureau Units <laughs> 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 Topic: 
Special units Public units Units under the Departmental Police Headquarters Polres. Topic: Corruption. In the eyes of the people, the National Police Force is corrupt, brutal, and inept. Even becoming a police officer can be expensive, with applicants having to pay up to RP 90 million, according to Indonesia Police Watch head, NETA Saputra Payne, in April 2009, angry that the Corruption Eradication Commission KPK had tapped his phone while investigating a corruption case, Indonesian Police Chief Detective Susno Duadji compared the KPK to a gecko Indonesian, kichok fighting a crocodile Indonesian, buaya meaning the police. Susno's comment, as it turned out, quickly backfired because the image of a kichok standing up to a buaya similar to David and Goliath imagery immediately had wide appeal in Indonesia. A noisy popular movement in support of the kichok quickly emerged. Students staged pro kichok demonstrations, many newspapers ran cartoons with kichoks lining up against an ugly buaya, and numerous TV talk shows took up the kichok versus buaya topic with enthusiasm. As a result, references to Kichok's fighting a buaya have become a well known part of the political imagery of Indonesia. In June 2010, the Indonesian news magazine Tempo published a report on fat bank accounts held by senior police officers containing billions of rupiah. When the magazine went on sale in the evening, groups of men said by witnesses to be police officers went to newsstands with piles of cash to try to buy all the copies before they could be sold. When KPK investigators tried to search Polri headquarters in 2010 as part of an investigation into Joka Susilo, then the head of Korlantas Police Corps of Traffic, they were detained and only released following the intervention of the president, Susilo Bombang Yudoyono. Following a trial, Joka was jailed for 18 years. Two years later, the KPK began investigating another senior police officer, Budi Ganawan, who was subsequently nominated for the post of National Police Chief. The KPK then named Budi a suspect and his nomination was withdrawn. However, he was later sworn in as Deputy Police Chief. The police subsequently took revenge by charging three KPK commissioners with criminal offenses. Violence and human rights abuses Amnesty International has accused Polri of «widespread» torture and other abuses of arrested individuals. According to the organization, «police in Indonesia shoot, beat and even kill people without fear of prosecution, leaving their victims with little hope of justice». In 2014 the Human Rights Watch reported that a physical virginity test is routinely performed on female applicants to the police force. Human Rights Watch decried the practice as unscientific and degrading. An official admission of violence by police officers came in 2016 when Chief Gen. Badruddin Haiti admitted that officers of the Detachment 88 Anti-Terror Unit were responsible for the death in custody of terrorist suspect Sayono, who died of heart failure after being kicked hard enough in the chest to fracture his ribs. The Indonesian National Commission on Human Rights stated in March 2016 that at least 121 terror suspects had died in custody since 2007. <laughs> Rank structure. In the early years, the Indonesian police used European police style ranks like inspector and commissioner. When the police were amalgamated with the military structure during the 1960s, the ranks changed to a military style such as captain, major, and colonel. In the year 2000, when the Indonesian police conducted the transition to a fully independent force out of the armed forces, they used British style police ranks like inspector and superintendent. In 2001, the Indonesian police have returned to Dutch-style ranks like brigadier and inspector, just like in the early years with some Indonesianized elements within the ranking system. The ranks are comparable with the armed forces rank system. The following ranks are only used by personnel serving in the Mobile Brigade Corps and Water Police Units. 
Topic firearms The standard issue sidearm to all Indonesian National Police officers is the Taurus Model 82 revolver in 38 Special. While police personnel attached to special units such as Detachment 88, Gegana and BRIMOB are issued with the Glock 17 semi-automatic pistol. Heavy arms are always available to Indonesian police personnel, such as the Heckler and Coke MP5 sub-machine gun, Remington 870 shotgun, Stair August assault rifle, M4 carbine, M1 carbine, and other weapons. The standard rifle for the Indonesian National Police are the Pindad SS1 and the M16 rifle. Units are also issued the Sabara, Police V1V2 Pindad SS1 Special Law Enforcement Assault Rifle. Police fleets The police vehicles that are usually operated by the Indonesian police Polri", for patrol and law enforcement activities are mainly Ford Focus sedans, Mitsubishi Lancers, Hyundai Elantras for some police regions, Mitsubishi Stratas, Isuzu D-Maxes, and Ford Rangers. Such vehicles are usually operated by the Sabara. Police unit and other units which the vehicles are mainly colored dark gray. In some areas, usually in rural places, the vehicles are not up to date compared to the ones in the major urban areas in the country, so some police vehicles still use older versions such as the Toyota Kijong and Mitsubishi Freakus. Special investigation units usually operate in black Toyota Avanzas and some are unmarked vehicles. Police laboratory and forensics. Paslab for. Units are issued dark gray police Suzuki APV vehicles. The Traffic Police Corps Corlantas, usually uses vehicles such as the Mazda 6, Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution, Toyota Vios, Ford Focus sedans, Hyundai Elantra and Ford Rangers colored white and blue. Some vehicles for traffic patrol are also used such as the Toyota Rush and Daihatsu Terios. Sedan types are usually used for highway and road patrolling and escort. Double cab types are usually used for traffic incidents and traffic management law enforcement activities. Police vehicles colored orange usually Ford Focus and Mitsubishi Lancer sedans and white-orange Chevrolet Captivas are operated by the Vital Object Protection Unit Pam Obvit, and usually parked outside and operated for international embassies, airports, and other special specified locations. It is also used by the tourist police for patrol. For the special police, counter-terrorism and anti-riot units such as the Mobile Brigade or Brimob, Detachment 88 and Gegana units usually use special costumed vehicles for special operations such as the Pindad Komodo, Barracuda APC, and modified armored Mitsubishi Stratas, 2002 Nissan Toronto Spirits and other special double cabin and SUV vehicle types. Vehicles are colored dark gray with the bumper colored orange identifying vehicles of the special police units. Some special operational Gegana and Densis 88 vehicles are colored black also with orange bumpers. Other customized vehicles used for mobilization of police personnel are usually modified Suzuki Mega Carries, Isuzu Elfs and Toyota Dynas with horizontal side sitting facilities inside of the trunk covered by dark colored canvas for canopy. Costumed patrol pickups with mounted sitting facilities on the trunk covered with canopy are also operated by the police to carry police personnel during patrol. The pickups are usually Isuzu Panther pickups and usually operate in rural areas. For high-ranking officers, usually generals, issued cars are usually gray, some black, full to compact sedans and mid to full-sized SUVs. Such cars are mainly chauffeured Toyota Camrys, Hyundai Sonatas, Toyota Land Cruisers, and Toyota Prados. Some use black Toyota Innovas. Uniform The National Police Force of Indonesia had changes for uniform colors about three times, the periods are since first formed until mid-70s, the uniform color was khaki like the current Indian police uniform. Since the late 70s until mid-90s, the uniform color was light brown and brown. Since mid-90s until now the color are brownish gray and dark brown. In the Indonesian Armed Forces and Police, there are three types of uniform worn by service personnel which are ceremonial uniform PDU, service uniform PDH, and field uniform PDL. 
Headgears and beret colors Red – Crime Investigation Unit Resource. Don't wear berets during activity Dark Blue Beret – Mobile Brigade Corps Brimob. Blackish Dark Brown Beret Sabara. Light Blue Beret – Internal Affairs Division Police Provosts. Peaked Cap with White Top – Traffic Policeman Topic. Personnel Topic. List of Chiefs of Police Kapolri. General R. Said Sokanto Jokrodayat Majo, the 29th of September 1945 to the 14th of December 1959. General Sokarno Johonagoro, the 15th of December 1959 to the 29th of December 1963. General Sojipto Danoy Koisomo, the 30th of December 1963 to the 8th of May 1965. General Sojipto Jodo de Harjo, the 9th of May 1965 to the 8th of May 1968. General Hoging Iman Santoso, the 9th of May 1968 to the 2nd of October 1971. General Mock Hassan, the 3rd of October 1971 to 1974. General Widodo Budidharmo, 1974 to 25 September 1978. General Awaludin Jamin, the 26th of September 1978 to 1982. General Anton Sodjarwo, 1982 to 1986. General Machamid Sanoisa, 1986 to 19 February 1991. General Kunarto, the 20th of February 1991 to April 1993. General Banarusman Astrozamitro, April 1993 to March 1996. General Dibio Widodo, March 1996 to the 28th of June 1998. General Rosmanhadi, the 29th of June 1998 to the 3rd of January 2000. General Rosdeharjo, the 4th of January 2000 to the 22nd of September 2000. General Soroyo Bimantoro, the 23rd of September 2000 to the 28th of November 2001. General Dibik Thiar, the 29th of November 2001 to the 7th of July 2005. General Sutanto, the 8th of July 2005 to the 30th of September 2008. General Bombang Hendarso Danori, the 30th of September 2008 to October 2010. General Timur Pradopo, October 2010 to the 25th of October 2013. General Suderman, the 25th of October 2013 to the 16th of January 2015. General Badruddin Haiti, the 17th of April 2015 to the 13th of July 2016. General Tito Carnavian, the 13th of July 2016 present. Topic Police operational regions Sumatera Aceh Regional Police North Sumatera Regional Police West Sumatera Regional Police Riau Regional Police Riau Islands Regional Police Jambi Regional Police Bengkulu Regional Police South Sumatera Regional Police Bangka Blitung Regional Police Lampung Regional Police Java Greater Jakarta Metropolitan Regional Police Regional Police Banten Regional Police West Java Regional Police Central Java Regional Police Yogyakarta Regional Police East Java Regional Police Topic Bali and Nusa Tenggara Bali Regional Police West Nusa Tenggara Regional Police East Nusa Tenggara Regional Police Topic Kalimantan West Kalimantan Regional Police 
Central Kalimantan Regional Police South Kalimantan Regional Police East Kalimantan Regional Police North Kalimantan Regional Police Topic Sulawesi North Sulawesi Regional Police Gorontalo Regional Police Central Sulawesi Regional Police West Sulawesi Regional Police South Sulawesi Regional Police Southeast Sulawesi Regional Police Topic Maluku and North Maluku North Maluku Regional Police Maluku Regional Police Topic Papua West Papua Regional Police Papua Regional Police Topic Police Vehicles Topic Popular Media Works Related to Polri Menumpas Terroris, 1986 starring Barry Prima and El Manik Ari Hangara, 1985, A True Story Death A Eight Years Old Boy by Stepmother starring Dedi Mizwar The Raid, 2011 film, starring Iko Uwais, Joe Taslam and Donny Alamsya Java Heat, 2013 starring Kellen Lutz, Ario Bayou, T. Wifnu Wakana and Mickey Rourke. Topic. Television programs Documentary 86 2014 present based on Show Cops TV series Topic. See also Indonesian Military TNI. Criminal Investigation Agency Bereskrim. Mobile Brigade Corps Detachment 88, Densis 88 at Gegana Municipal Police, Indonesia Military Police Corps, Indonesia Army Military Police Corps, Indonesia. Police Corps Indonesia.